you guys decided to move to California, and it sounds like you guys really didn't know anybody there other than maybe some streamers? Yeah. Why did you pick California? You, you just wanted... The beaches. I don't know. It's so bougie out here. Trust me, I kind of miss Texas, especially the way that Ice talks about it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I live in Houston. It's, it's pretty nice here. Right, right. It's really nice there. But let me see here. So you guys get out to California, and where are you staying at? Um, like, so we we're kind of doing, like, a car trip and stuff. All of my stuff was still in Texas, so we kind of had to get my shit out of there. Like, it took, like, a couple, like, you know, very nice people to help, like, help me, like, it was a lot of money to get our shit out here, you know, like, so people helped us with that. Okay. Um, Did you have an apartment, or...? I, I mean, I, this is my apartment, but we were living in, like, hotels and stuff. Okay. How long did that go on for? Um, like, less than uh, maybe a year. Because at some point, at uh, some point, you became... Six months. Right. So, at some point, you became... You became pregnant for a third time with a t with Attila. Yeah, I was pregnant in Austin with my second kid. Or third. Okay, so you you were already you were already pregnant when you moved out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you already knew you were pregnant and everything, or did you learn that in L.A. or? I knew in Austin that I was pregnant. Okay, so you come out to. LA and you're just kind of uh, staying in uh, various hotels and things yeah, like this. Yeah, like we were supposed to we were supposed to do an RV trip and we were supposed to be on like that RV and stuff but then they gave it to Blade and as you know Blade crashed that RV. Oh yeah. So, so like we, we were told to come down here and look we we're going to get an RV for free and then we we're going to do an RV trip. Is that the one that was involved with uh, Andy Dick? Um, so eventually we did end up getting an RV and stuff, but at that point, like we were already sober and everything. And so we were trying to have like a no drug RV, but like that didn't happen. And now you, you so mentioned, Andy took the RV from us. you mentioned being sober. Were you guys like pretty hard into drugs at, when you went out to Los Angeles? Were you? No, just weed. And, um, so the thing is, is like similar to the meth thing or whatever, like, I've had four years clean off meth, um, but similar to the meth, like, fuck weed, right? Fuck weed, smoke meth, you know? But um, at this point, when I was living in California, I was kind of more like cigarettes over weed, and I couldn't even smoke weed. I mostly was just smoking cigarettes, and I would mix my cigarettes with weed just because, like, cigarettes are disgusting. Okay, so you were doing a lot of, um, you were doing a lot of, uh, American IRL spirit tobacco, yeah. Yeah, you were doing a lot of IRL streams around this time too. It seemed like you guys were on a lot. We were trying really hard to like, you know, make money. Yeah, which were was, you like, is hard. Like this type of life is really hard, especially if you're someone that's like homeless and stuff. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say IRL streaming is like probably okay, but I'm even watching like these people like, and it's really like. It's really a hard thing to do. Like, like maybe you, you can make enough money just for like the next day, like of the hotel room bill. Like, but I mean, really, that's not the way to live, anyways. 